everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from DSEI Japan 2023. And we are here with something very interesting, I think which is the most interesting thing you've seen in this show. And, and look, 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 you can absolutely see him walking around, marching, absolutely troop like. Wonderful. So we are at the Ghost Robotics and we have with us here Tom Jacobs and Terry Hong and they're going to tell us about this wonderful creation we are seeing here. So uh, Terry, let's get started with you. What is this? It's called Vision 60. We call it QUGB which stands for Quadro Pedal on Man Ground Vehicle. The main applications include security, inspection, patrol, and honestly, the application extends to whatever you put on top of the robot, the equipment and payloads, was mainly designed to minimize human exposure to danger. And this IP67, fully water submersible, IP67 waterproof, and the top speed is about 2.4 meters per second. And can you just explain it here? You know, or the parts, what is it all about? Can you just do a little bit of explanation? Parts. Yeah, so just talk about, you know, I'd like to understand, you know, the viewers would like to understand what is it all about. So what are these parts, what are they, so if one of you can explain. Yeah, so it's made up of the main body here, the four legs. The four legs are user serviceable, so if the leg breaks, the leg can be taken off and replaced uh, in just a few minutes. Um, it has five color cameras all the way around the robot uh, that stream video. So to these are cameras, side camera, front cameras. Uh, it has depth sensors as well, so that's the way it can uh, walk up and down uh, stairs. Uh, it has uh, well, headlights and speakers. It has headlights and speakers, it's got cameras, it's got sensors. And friends, what has happened is that it's so small a baby that we've cut off Terry's and Jacob's uh, heads, you know, while trying to concentrate on it. So, oh, what wonderful. And, uh, uh, it, Tom, is it al already there with some of the forces? Yeah, so it's used uh, across the US uh, Air Force bases uh, to patrol the fence line, watch out for uh, intruders and vehicles and suspicious activity uh, all along the fence line many, many miles. Was so this the same one or was it there? All right. And uh, what has been the, I can see the attention it has created has been wonderful. But what has been the footfall? Have you got somebody potentially wanting to buy it? Yeah, so it's uh, used across uh, governments all across the world. Um, and we've had a lot of uh, good um, talks to uh, different departments here in Japan um, about uh, procurement for the robot. Wonderful. And can we give it a little walk? Sure, yeah. So it's absolutely charging and walking very smartly. And here it's running absolutely. Oh, so it's got a hurdle in between. So it's diverted itself from the hurdle. Oh, sweet. That's really, you know, I, I know why people call it a dog. Huh? It looks so nicely and lovingly at you. Thank you so much, Tom and Terry. Wonderful. And I think, you know, it's one of the most beautiful things I've seen. I've been seeing it at shows otherwise, but this is the first time I'm doing a video. I always did pictures and I felt it was just wrong to picture it. It really needed to be caught acting. Have you shown it at the Indian shows? The Defense Expo in the Aero India? Not at a show, but we have had some interest there. Right, okay. 
Thank you so much. Thanks a ton, both of you. I really had to cut you off most of the time because the height differences are very heavy. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.